Okay, there's a quick video of the uh, Quangsheng UV uh, K5, I believe it is. Um, I bought this last week on AliExpress, or maybe it was just over a week ago. I bought it on AliExpress. I paid 16 UK pounds, and then uh, postage and taxes uh that will be import duty etc uh, was another six pounds so 20 um uh 22 pounds is what i paid all in and what did we get well it come double boxed come double boxed so there was no real hardcore packaging or anything but uh it came in this box uh as i say there were it, it, within another box um the usual uh, uh, blister type packs. There was uh, two of those, so you know nothing, nothing special about the packaging. Uh, pretty standard, quite minimal. Uh, what you got was the uh, radio. You got the screwing antenna. You got the USB cable. Uh, that you can charge the radio from any uh, USB source. So. Uh, I don't know that it was the best solution or the fastest solution, but it's obviously the cheapest solution. You can get a base unit. I didn't bother with the base unit. You get the belt clip. Oh, I never bother with belt clips because I don't clip it to my belt. And you get the uh, ubiquitous um, uh, lapel microphone and earphone. Oh, I tend never to use them. So we got the radio and uh, a few people said to me, you know, what does it do? How does it do? Is it better than the UV5R? Um, I haven't done a comparison. It came today just a few hours ago. I made some quick uh, photographs and, you know, a few, a few um, uh, social media posts and that. Oh, sorry, you, you, you get one of those as well, those little uh, hang it on your wrist type of affairs uh, and a sticker. Well, there you go. So anyway, um, so a few people said, you know, does it do this? Does it do that? Well, you know, I, I'm, I bought this because it was £16. I didn't buy it because of really anything it intrinsically does. So I just thought I'd do a quick, I suppose, in a way, an unboxing video. Um, okay, so what does it do compared to the UV5R? Well, I mean, they're much of a muchness. Um, it does it does six meter band receive. Um, I don't know how well it does it on the rubber duck. Probably not well at all. Um, you'd have to get the adapters, the usual SMA to PL two five nine adapter, and stick it on your antenna, and uh, see how it goes from there. Um, it does air band AM. Uh, one of the things about the UV five R was a lot of people used to say, does it do airband? Does it do airband? Well, it never went below, I think, 136 megs. So, one, it didn't go into the airband section, which is sort of below 136, but above 110. And, uh, of course, uh, the, the Baofeng and uh, the other radios like the Baofeng are only um, FM. Well, this does AM, airband, receive only. Uh, it does... Uh, two meters so it, it covers 136 to 174 as a transceiver so it covers the two meter band and it does 400 to 470 megahertz so it covers the 70 centimeter band and i would imagine uh for the uk 446 which is our you know license free allocation at uhf and i imagine places like america is it fmrs family radio or fr family radios anyway family radio systems and whatever i'd imagine it covers that um it does it does also cover you know like the, the 1.5 meter band us but receive only now whether these can be unlocked to transmit out of band like that i don't know once again only just got it um i'm not you know i'm, I'm not going to make a, a well a uh, well presented video or anything this is just a quick no this is what i've got uh let's have a look see what it does see what it doesn't do etc um it does receive fm radio which uh 
uh, you know, I think the, the, the bow thing and others does um, 100, no, 88 to 110 megahertz. Or I have discovered this one does the 100 and 10 to 88 megahertz but it also goes below that so i think it starts is it in the 60 or 70 megahertz bands so it will receive um uh the fm band below the traditional one i think the european fm band which is uh slightly lower um it's below a uh below 88 anyway so it does that it's got it's got the little you know led light and um uh a murder alarm and everything else um i had a quick switch on uh it, you know like the the menu you got a function button uh so that the uh the menu uh, sorry the the buttons here do actually uh do more than one function um i didn't read the manual it does come with a little printed manual um it, uh, it sort of defines what all of the buttons and that do. I really have not studied that yet. Um, I really should. Uh, once again, I'm just making a quick video just to sort of show you what I got for my money. Um, so if we switch it on, um, it's in English. Uh, Welcome, frequency mode. Uh, the, you know, it's usual. You can have it frequency mode or you can have it in... Um, uh, uh, channel mode uh, programming a few people have asked me already can it be programmed via chirp i haven't done it it does have the same uh, microphone and earphone input on the side that you get with uh, the bow things etc um, uh, i would imagine that if it doesn't yet it probably will do later with the latest edition of um, chirp of course, uh, that's updated quite regularly, and I would imagine it will do at some point. Um, how easy is it to program from the keypads? Don't know at this moment in time. As I say, you know as much as I do. So um, you've got your uh, push-to-talk button there. You've got uh, two buttons below. Now, one of those buttons, it, I think, I think it's the bottom one, maybe it's both but i think it's just the bottom one is um programmable programmable via software so you can get this um i've got the lighting all wrong here haven't i i really didn't think this one out but anyway um yeah you've, you've got these button here and that button there i think it's the bottom one is programmable possibly both of them uh, the top one does your monitor so basically it you know it takes squelch off completely um the, the buttons also dual function as in you can hold them once like that or if you press and hold they they'll do something else uh the bottom button seems to be on this one programmed for the led torch uh led flashing and led off um the, the bow thing by contrast has the um uh, the fm button there for fm radio uh, is it the, if I remember rightly, the orange one? You can tell how often I use them. Um, okay, so we, we've switched it on. And here we are. We're on uh, 145.250. Um, uh, I think the high power, they're 5 watts. Uh, 5 watts is, is more than adequate for a radio like this. You know, people want to squeeze 8 watt, watts out of them and that. It's just not worth stressing a little handheld uh, radio like this. We're trying to screw power out of it. Okay, so you've got your M button there. M for menu. I think it's self-explanatory. Um, you've got your up and down buttons there. They've also got a B and C on them. And this one here, exit button, has also got um, a D on it. Obviously, the A, B, C, D means something's uh in the manual i could read it and uh, i'll come back to that at a later time i'm not interested at the moment really all i wanted to do was show the radio i wanted to uh switch it on and um you know maybe even see if we can get a contact on it oh, i don't know but anyway uh so menu. we go to menu and you can see you've got lots of um uh, lots of menus as per the bow thing so the first one being menu. squelch 
you've got steps uh, we're at uh, if we press menu to enter it frequency step. frequency step and then use the up and down arrow buttons we set it at 12.5 kilohertz Confirm. confirmed uh, tx power then you've got the rdcs uh, ct CTA, uh, ctcs for receive transmit dcs transmit ctcs um sftd no idea off the top of my head um offset i suppose that will be for your repeater offset uh we're on wide and narrow well i'm on wide um scr not off the top of my head bcl etc memory channel uh we're, we're the same as uh Baofeng. um the, the, you know you go through the memory channels uh, say Vox, uh, ABR, TDR, um, not sure right off the top of my head. Um, I'll tell you what I've been doing. I've been, I've been drinking tequila. So that, that'll explain a lot. <laughs> uh, okay. Or weather channel. Well, obviously we, we haven't got weather channel, um, in this country. Uh, beep. I turned that off earlier. Time out timer voice. Uh, you know, there's lots and lots and lots and lots, and it just goes on and on and on. So it seems like, you know, there, there is lots to play with. I'll push the talk ID. You know, there, there, there's lots in there. Uh, Roger Beat, we got that off. Uh, volume, oh, sorry, voltage, 7.64. Um, the AM is on. I would imagine that is AM. Noah, is that weather channel? Uh, yeah, I think it is delete channel. You'd uh, you'd think that um, that'd be up near a memory channel, wouldn't it? And reset the VFO, which I suppose takes everything back to uh, zero. So if we go into squelch and turn it down to, let's just turn it down to one. Confirm. Okay, let's um, exit Cancel. out, and the, the squelch is still up. So. Uh, oh, band changing. Okay, this is where the function button comes in. Down here, bottom right, you press function and band, and you can see the bands change. So function, band, function, band. So that's 70 centimeters, function, band. And there we go. Uh, look, 53.825. Uh, so that's in the six, six, mega, uh, six meter band. One. Uh, four, four, nine, zero, zero. I was hoping something would come up on that because that is my very, very local gateway, um, internet gateway. I say very local. He's about a quarter of a mile away or less as the crow flies. Let's go through these channels, see if we can receive anything just on the fly. Oh, that was it. If we carry on with the bands, uh, band, come on. Um, it wasn't, oh, here we go, FM. Oh, lovely. Of course, if you press and hold, it will just scan through. Let's uh, let's carry on going down below the um, FM broadcast band. Okay, we're now below the FM broadcast band for the UK. No, there was something there. Anyway, so if we do um, function FM, function FM, right, we're all right, okay, bear with me, bear with me, everyone. I'm looking for the aircraft band, so function band, come on, function band, come on, why isn't it changing? What have I done? Have I mucked it up? Have I broke it already? Right, so function 
band. The reason it wouldn't find the band is because I was still on FM. I had to come out of FM, but still. Okay, so here it is. You can see there, or maybe you can't. Let's, uh, geez, come on. What a waffling, rambling old pile of crap this video is going to be. Um, can you actually see that? I'm just now looking at the viewfinder. I don't believe you can. Wow. I think you've just been looking at a white screen. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're now on the um, the aircraft band. Let's see if we can receive anything. London City Airport is quite close. And there it is. Um, okay, great. Great if you want to listen to people talking in telephone numbers. But uh, London City Airport is as the crow flies. I mean, not that far. I don't know what the frequency steps are. I don't, I mean, aircraft band isn't my gig. So I'm just scanning down. I'm just looking at the viewfinder. I don't believe you can see anything but a white screen, which is a shame. Uh, the screen on this is very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Two VFOs, um, A and B. But uh, we're below 126 and we're now at 125 megs. Did we get something there? Maybe the antenna isn't the best antenna for this. A few people made the comment, you know, You've got to be near an airport or something. It's not for general standing around in the middle of nowhere waiting for something to happen. I suppose if you was at an air show or something, it would be fantastic. As I say, not not my thing. Anyway, I can't be bothered to go for all that all day. Okay, so function, band, right. Uh, where are we? 145... Uh, 450, 500. I'll tell you what, if we switch on the bell thing and we go one, four, five, zero, zero, zero. Let's just go through this one because this one's got a better antenna on it. Obviously, uh, it's not conducive to a great video hearing just me clicking. But uh, M0 JCF. Let's turn the volume up. M oh, M0 JCF testing. CQ on two, M0, JCF, looking for a quick check on the radio. I mean, we're separated by 18 inches. So, <laughs> yeah, it could be on 10 milliwatts for all we know. Well, we know the bow thing isn't. Okay, let's go the other way. Let's just, let's just see if we've got, uh, if we've got, actually got a transmit. I haven't actually tried this. Well, yes, we have. M0 JCF looking for a test on two meters. M0 JCF looking for a test on two meters, please. CQ, CQ on two. This is M0 JCF looking for a quick check. Of course, I don't know if I'm on high or low power on this one. Um... We, we could go into the menu, couldn't we? He says rambling away. Function. Uh, okay, menu. Ah, oh, it's on high power. So we're on five watts. I mean, let's exit out of that. CQ, CQ on two, CQ on two. This is M0 JCF looking for a quick radio check, please. Well, 
I think that'll be a video for later. That'll have to be a separate video of it actually in use. But I think uh, what we've done is um, we, you know, we we we've proved that the, the radio switches on. I oh, wish I could get a picture of that screen. It's quite a nice screen actually. Yeah, we've proved that it works. Um, as I say. You're going to get your haters, you're going to get your lovers, and, uh, you know, in, in all radios, it happens all the time. I've got Yaesu handhelds, uh, 70 centimetres and 2 metres, I've got Baofengs, I've got GP3TP, you know, and uh, the die-hard ICOM lovers will hate anything that isn't ICOM. Uh, you've got your Baofeng lovers that, uh, you know, are quite pragmatic, I think. And uh, now we're going to see if we're going to get the uh, Kuaosheng lovers. Um, I've already had people on social media, like, oh, where's a picture of the photograph? You shout to them, oh, no, put it back in the box. You know, look shit. And, all. and you think to yourself, oh, come on, grow up, will you? You know, it was 16 UK pounds plus six pounds for tax and shipping. I mean, 22 pounds and you get a boxed product with, you know, all, all of the little gizmos and that. Now, I'm not saying, you know, that it's going to be spectrally perfect. I'm not going to say it will be uh, range perfect with the antenna, you know, the antenna that comes with it. Um, the antenna is uh, just, uh, let's let's see, it's just stock SMA. So uh, let's put on my fake, whatever it is. Uh, you get haters on antennas, you get haters on microphones, you get haters on everything. I mean, those that know me know that I love to run pretty much old rubbish that no one else wants. So let's see. Let's Welcome. Give it... Frequency mode. Yeah. CQ, CQ on two, CQ, CQ on two. This is M0, JCF, looking for a radio check on two metres, please. CQ, CQ on two, CQ on two. This is M0, JCF, looking for a quick radio check on two metres, please. Okay, so... I suppose I could fire up the trusty TS700. It's connected to a beam now and uh, put out a call. Probably would get someone come back. And uh, I'd say, look, I'm just swapping to this. But, you know, I'm in my loft. Um, you know, we're using a rubber duck type antenna. It's uh, it's probably not, not the best thing. If it was Sunday morning and I was on the Cray Valley um, net, then um, I'm sure, you know, we, we could have a lot of fun. But uh, anyway, look... It was um, a quick look at, uh, an unboxing if you like, it was a quick look at uh, the Kuao Sheng uh, UVK5. Uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube, every man and his dog's buying them. Uh, I got mine from AliExpress. As I say, took just over a week or about a week to get to the UK. Uh, this side of the um, water, it come via Every or Hermes. Uh, not my favourite career, but it got here. It got here intact in one piece and um, absolutely uh, no shenanigans. And AliExpress almost daily sent me um, uh, an email saying, uh, check the status of your delivery. It, it, you know, they really were very, very good on the shipping information. You, you create an account, you log on, and you can ship it every way. And they told you every time there was an update where it was, you know, where it had gone to, where it was coming from, and how it was getting to you. And then, of course, I started getting the emails from every saying that uh, your package from... Oh, Chow Sheng, or what is it? Uh, it oh, forget, forget the name of the place. Uh, the company was a Chai Nero Premium. So um, there were the people that obviously shipped it from China uh, via AliExpress. And uh, then, you know, uh, every uh, stuck their own um, a label over the top of that shipping label. Anyway, it got here. It is what it is. I'm having a ramble. I am M0 JCF. You know, if you watch my videos, that rambling is what I do best. There are no production values in my videos. It's storage space.
but thanks for looking anyway and um questions flames whatever it doesn't matter uh, i will do uh, another video later of it actually in use because i'm sure that's really what you want to see cheers <laughs>